Having a routine is one of the best ways to stay happy and productive. So like it forces you to like get out of bed, to see people, to do the things you need to do every day, to like feel like a human being. It can really help when say like you're feeling depressed or you're struggling with like mental health issues. But yeah, having a schedule to regulate you is great. And a great way to do that is by having a pet. Well, I guess it's the way I do it. It's not for everyone. Anyways, this video is about having pets when you're an artist and how great it is. So I have seven animals in my house. It's hectic, but I love them all. They're my babies. Um, so I have three cats, two dogs, a blue tongue skink, and a hamster. They are my sweet babies, and I could talk about them forever. But since getting my animals, like especially dogs, they've added a lot of structure and responsibility to my life that I think has really helped me. Because like they give me times when I need to get off my butt and like feed them and take them for walks. Like the dogs get me outside a lot. You know, taking time away to like bond with them. They're great because they give me an excuse to like stop being a workaholic um, and to go hang out with them. Like, you know, I, like I said, I have to walk my dogs. I have to play with them. Like I have to play with my cats, especially like two of the kittens are new, so they need lots of playtime. Um, and like, you know, my hamster needs playtime. They need attention. And it's a great break to get me away from like screens and reading and drawing all the time. And they, they make my heart feel good. <laughs> so have you ever heard that saying that if you want something done, give it to the busiest person? That's part of the reason why routines are great. Um, because if you have a lot of things going on in your life, it's easier to schedule one more thing in as, as opposed to when you have a lot of spare time. Uh, it's really easy to lose hours and hours, like, uh, vegging out, hanging out on social media. And part of that might be because you're depressed, but it's very easy to lose time when you have a lot of spare time. So having like a full schedule within reason, like not overexerting yourself, but just having like a good amount of stuff to do every day will force you to schedule in work time and stick to it. Like it'll take a lot of the guilt off if say you don't get something done, like you don't get your 10 minutes of art in, or sorry, your 30 minutes of art in. Cause it's easier to stomach like, well, you know, I was really busy today, so I couldn't do my 30 minutes of work, but I still got like 10 minutes of work done. So that's great opposed to that awful feeling when you've had like a whole day to do tons of work and you're like, oh, I only did like 10 minutes of work. What am I doing with my life? So yeah, so I have found having pets really helps build a routine in my life and helps me schedule work time around them and time to like spend time with them. Pets are also great for companionship, which can help for like, you know, mental health issues. Uh, I think as artists, at least for me, like, I tend to deal with, like, loneliness or isolation a lot because, you know, for one, I spend a lot of time just sitting alone working. Or, like, as an artist, I think it's easy for a lot of us to feel weird. Um, and it can be hard to make friends sometimes, especially when you're young. So having, like, a pet can really help you when you're feeling really lonely. And they can tide you over until you have time to, like, see your family or your friends and get that social interaction that you need. Also, pets are great reference if you're drawing animals or anthros or furry art. Um, so, like, when I need references for, like, coyotes or wolves or something, I totally just run over to my dog and, like, figure out how their leg works. <laughs> it's the best. Because live references are always, like, a, a super awesome extra bonus good thing to have than just working off of photos because you get a better understanding of like how the anatomy works or how the structure works. Now all this said, like it sounds like I'm telling you to run out and get a dog, but honestly if you can't afford a pet or you don't have the means to take care of them, don't go get one. Um, I think that's one of the worst things you can do because you might end up hurting an animal that you're responsible for. So like if you ever see like a free kitten, it sounds great but there's actually like hidden costs that you might not be thinking about. But yeah, um, cause always remember like vet bills are really expensive cause just like vaccines and deworming and spay and neuter is a lot of money. Not to mention like an emergency vet bill can cost you a lot. So be prepared for that if you're getting a pet. But yeah, but dogs are great for like exercise um, and getting you out of the house. Um, but they're very high maintenance animals. They need a lot of attention and a lot of play. Cats are a bit better uh, for if you don't have say, a lot of time to spend with them. They're great for like snuggles and companionship, but they're a lot more self-sufficient than a dog because a dog needs to be like let outside to pee. They need exercise. Um, they need to play or else they're going to destroy your house. <laughs> but a cat, you can leave for a day with food and water and they'll be fine while you're out at work. Our hamster and lizard are like the easiest to take care of because like their daily care needs are like feeding 
and like spot cleaning their cages for waste and like cleaning water bowls and stuff. But they their their cages need like a deep clean every couple weeks. But other than that, they're super easy to take care of. Having a routine and scheduled time for comics and pet care is great. I find having animals really boosts my mood um, when I'm feeling depressed because it's great to just run over and snuggle my dogs because they love me and I love them. <laughs> it's just nice. <laughs> but yeah, like I said before, if you're getting a pet, do your research. Um, you want to give them a good forever home. Where am I going with this? I'm just talking about how much I love my pets. <laughs> but yes, there you go. That's my experience with my animals. <laughs> I figured I should talk about them at, like, at length at some point, because they are a big part of my life. Um, and, like, our comic, The Scourge of Nine Point, is based off of, um, our love of, like, cat genetics. <laughs> and Bones loves wildlife, so a, a lot of the comic features, like, Canadian wildlife. So that's been really fun. Anyways, there's my pet talk out of the way. I both encourage and discourage you from getting a pet. You do you. Thank you so much for listening. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions or if you'd like to request a video topic, please leave a comment down below. Tell me about your cats and your dogs and your pets. Send me pics. I want to see them. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any writing questions, uh, Bones, the other guy on this channel, will be answering those. He just takes a little bit longer to put out videos. Keep an eye out for those. Alrighty, thanks for listening. Goodbye!